That's all from the news at one this lunchtime, so it's goodbye from me. And on BBC One, we can join the BBC News teams where you are. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to South Today. I'm Jo Kent. The top stories this lunchtime. Two men go on trial and cathedral transformed into canvas. Preparations at Salisbury for the culmination of a unique art project to mark St George's Day. Communities across the South have been marking St George's Day with a number of events to commemorate England's patron saint. Flags were being March flown through the town. <laughs> Meanwhile, final preparations are underway at Salisbury Cathedral for one of the most spectacular celebrations of the day. Joe Crowley reports. For the last couple of months, four writers have been roaming the South to find your hidden stories. And tonight is the night it all pays off. We're going to mix up those stories from different parts of the region to create a unique snapshot of life in the South. And the best bit to celebrate St George's Day, we're going to beam the words in lights onto the cathedral. And right behind the project is the Dean of Salisbury Cathedral, the very Reverend June Osborne. As we celebrate St George today in the cathedral, it couldn't be a better place for the stories of local people, uh, real people, to join with our story and to become part of our celebration of what is made in England. Now, of course, this project couldn't succeed without a little technical magic right here on the ground. And in charge of that is Colin Parnell. Now, Colin, you had some test runs last night. Everything in place and ready to go? Yes, absolutely. Um, last night it went absolutely perfectly, so we're all excited to see it tonight and I think the weather's going to hold. Excellent. Now, I happen to know Colin was here very late last night, so we do have a few pictures of how this project might look, but there is still time to come down and see it for yourselves. We'll be here all evening in Salisbury Cathedral. If you really can't make it, then be sure to tune in to South Today at 6.30 and again at 10.25 to see it all as it happens. Yeah, it should be pretty spectacular. It's nearly half past six. Stay with us. Now it's time to join the BBC News teams where you are. Goodbye. Hello, I'm Sally Taylor. Welcome to South Today. In tonight's programme, Salisbury Cathedral prepares to celebrate St George's Day. Joe Crowley is there. Yes, this is the perfect place to celebrate St George's Day and creativity in the South. So join me later to find out why the writing's on the roof here in Salisbury. a big event at Salisbury Cathedral tonight, marking St George's Day, special event. Joe Crowley is uh, there for us this evening. And, uh, well, you couldn't be in a more English place, really, could you, to mark St George's Day, Joe? Absolutely. This is the perfect English, iconic location to celebrate and explore creativity in the South, how our society, how our landscape inspires that creativity. Now, later, we're going to bring you quite a spectacle. We're going to have a light show. We're going to bring you live pictures of a light show on the side of the cathedral. But in case you've missed any of the Made in England details over the last few weeks, here's a little reminder of what the Consequences Project is all about. For the last couple of months, four writers have been roaming the South to find your hidden stories. And tonight is the night it all pays off. We're going to mix up those stories from different parts of the region to create a unique snapshot of life in the South. And the best bit to celebrate St George's Day, we're going to beam the words in lights onto the cathedral. As we celebrate St George today in the cathedral, it couldn't be a better place for the stories of local people, uh, real people, to join with our story and to become part of our celebration of what is made in England. Now, of course, a project like this couldn't succeed without a little technical magic here on the ground. And in charge of that is Colin Parnell. Colin, uh, you had a test run last night. Everything ready to go? Yes, it is. Uh, it went very, very well last night and we're looking forward to the same tonight. Fantastic. Now, there was a test run last night, so we've got a few sneaky pictures of how it might look tonight. But do join us again. We're going to be live from here in our late bulletin at 10.25. So tune in and see all the live pictures of the event. Yes, it's not yet dark enough, obviously, to see the projections on the side of the cathedral, but I'm pleased to say it is light enough to meet the writers involved. So, introducing the ladies to my left. First of all, we have Ros from Brighton. We've got Hattie from Salisbury. Louisa, you've been working in and around Weymouth. And Catherine, you've been in Oxford. Now, Ros, 
It's been an incredible project, I'm sure. Now, what's been the hardest challenge? Has it been difficult to find these individual hidden stories? It has been quite challenging. It was much more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Um, not everybody was convinced that they had a story to tell, although I was quite sure they did. And um, not everybody wanted to be part of the project or wanted to, you know, give me their story. But I winkled out a few in the end and I got there and I was very pleased with the stories that I got. Now you can go on our website and read all the stories there. That's madeinthesouth.co.uk. There's also a random generator there. But now we're going to hand over to Georgie who's got the weather. I have to say, it's very appropriate we've got Georgie here because it is St George's Day, but it's also Georgie's birthday which I suspect is why she's called Georgie. So, good evening, Georgie. Happy birthday. Is it going to stay nice for us this evening? That was very kind of you, Joe. I tell you, it's a real treat to be here. Perfect conditions here in Salisbury. It's clear and it's dry, but if you are thinking about coming down, just a bit of a chill in the air, so it's certainly worth wrapping up warmly. Now, anyway, let's have a look at the forecast and see what's in store over the next few days. It was a so do make your way down to Salisbury. It's a beautiful evening. Clear and dry. Oh, <laughs> look. <laughs> it is a beautiful evening. Cake. As I said, Brilliant. it is Georgie's birthday, so we've got a very special cake. Take Thank a slice, much. Georgie. Oh, I was going to take the big bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, we don't want uh, Sally we don't want you to miss out in the studio so oh, I, oh, I have sorry. prepared a special slice for the off. studio and we're going to transcend the depths of uh, space and time and pass it to you there lovely thank you very much so enjoy that, that. Do, you know, oh. Roger, do you know, do you know Sally, what's so I funny about that Joe is when it arrived enjoy. here there was just the do. one slice on it which is a bit of a surprise isn't it look at that oh they're still chatting so there's no excuse not to come down exactly it's going to be a great evening do come down the light show will start quite shortly but uh, as I said you can also go on the website check out all the uh, all the stories on there and I should say later on in our late bulletin at 10 25 uh, we're going to bring you live pictures that's what you don't want to miss that's the lights on the cathedral giving these stories giving a snapshot of life in the south so it's such a great atmosphere there's so many people that have come down as well there's a real crowd gathering so certainly worth coming down it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to see such a brilliant event isn't it absolutely absolutely but enjoy the cake guys I hope uh, hope that keeps going nicely. We've got a great crowd. I'm told they're going to sing you happy birthday oh, at some that's point. Fantastic. So we'll have to Thank celebrate. <laughs> now, I hope, of course, Sally, you're joining in the studio. I'm sure you will. I'm Everyone get too. your voices in order. Well, anyway, we'll enjoy our cake. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you very much. Uh, join yeah. us at 10.25 tonight to see what happens at Salisbury Cathedral. Enjoy your evening from us all. Good night. Good night. On St George's Day, I'll be... Well, there's more on the BBC News Channel, but we can join our news teams where you are now. Good night. Now, communities across the south have been marking St George's Day and the very English location of Salisbury Cathedral has been doing something a bit different. It's involved poems, lights, in fact, the writings on the roof. Well, Joe Crowley is there to tell us more. So, Joe, what's been going on today? Thank you. Well, we promised you a wonderful spectacle and we certainly have that. Behind me, the writing is indeed on the roof. Not just any writing, special stories researched from across the South by a team of four writers. And these are hidden stories, the stories that don't normally get told. And with me now is, uh, is Roz from Brighton. Roz, you've been working in Brighton to try and find these hidden stories. It's a unique project, isn't it? What's it like being involved? It's been fantastic. It's not like anything else I've worked on before and I've really enjoyed getting out there and discovering the hidden stories of Brighton and now seeing them on the roof of the cathedral, it's quite fantastic actually, yeah. Because everyone has a story, don't they? Everybody has a story. Sometimes you have to dig a little bit to get it out, but yeah, they do. One man that certainly has a story is Jack here. Jack, you're the subject of one of Ros's stories. How do you feel about your story being up in lights? Well, I'm absolutely gobsmacked with it all. I mean, it's just such, this is such an experience for me. It's something completely new. I just, I just love it. It's magical. Does it make you proud? I mean, this is quite a way to celebrate Englishness, English creativity in St George's Day, isn't it? It certainly is, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, there we go. What a wonderful way to mark English creativity. And I should say there is a legacy to this project. A book of all the stories will be presented to the Oxford Bodleian Library tomorrow. So do check that out. Joe. Back to you, Laura. Joe, thank you very much. Now